Man wanders through a field before realizing the truth about where he is. Battlefields are heartbreaking to see, but strangely invite a magical feeling of wonder and awe when they are revisited at a time of perfect calm many years later. Wars have spanned dozens of nations through the course of history, and there are remnants to show how massive some are at their peak. Thank goodness for adventurous and curious folk like this imager user and his wife. The rest of us who have limited resources to leave our homes to wander are treated to the stunning display that has been naturally left behind by sights tumultuous past lives. Imager user Canada Speedo Man did not have a hard time convincing his wife to go on a hiking adventure in southeastern Greenland. He didn't really know what exactly to expect from the area, save from the typical touristy locations featured in brochures. So they kept walking on, admiring the breathtaking scenery and taking lots of photos, when they stumbled upon this place that bordered between remarkable and creepy. So far away from the city and the rest of civilization was a small town called Ikatek, which was also known as Bluey East II. It was used as an airfield by the U.S. Air Force during the Second World War. The site was empty when they found it, and what they saw simply left the couple speechless and in so much awe. Over 50 years ago, Bluey East II was a bustling and busy site as planes traveling between Europe and the United States used it as a refueling site during the war. One can only imagine the huge volume of planes coming and going at the time. Now, however, it has become an abandoned and still reminder of all the things that had passed. It was still home to thousands of empty fuel barrels strewn across the lot. Some of them still were full though. Surveying the site, it seemed like it was how the troops left it many years back and that nobody has come to collect them or rearrange the items spread all over. Amidst the barrels and the rubble, the couple also saw an old radio tower lying on its side. Apparently, it was just one of many located on the field. Back then, the towers were being used to communicate with air traffic controllers as they prepared to make their landing on the base. Bluey East II also held the remains of some of the bulldozers that were used to construct the entire airfield. The terrain was incredibly rocky, so only a skilled and cautious driver to be able to navigate this beast of a vehicle. Walking around further, the couple also found lots of wood scattered everywhere. However, what was interesting about that was that every piece of wood they found on the site was brought there by boat. No trees grew anywhere near Ikatek. If there had been driftwood, these had surely come floating in from Siberia. To illustrate what likely went on in the site way back then, here's a photo of a soldier posing in front of the barracks. At the time, the site had large houses built around where the troops stayed while waiting at the base. It had a small community. Some of the soldiers even stayed there for years, just waiting for the war to cease. Now here's a photo of what it looks like at present. It's difficult to imagine that this site was once home to so many brave soldiers. Now it's just a piece of land filled with debris, rusted metal, and broken wood. However, the memories of what it once remained. This truck is presumed to have been used to move the barrels of fuel in and out of the airfield. It looks very much rusted out, but given that it's already give or take 60 years old, it's remarkably still intact. The same can be said about most of the things that the couple found on the site. Canada Speedo Man and his wife also found this old furnace that was previously used to give heat to the hangar. The airfield was a 24-7 operation, so the troops had found this to be their place of refuge during the cold winter months, and it could get especially icy in Greenland. One can only imagine what it was like working at the airstrip at its peak, and this is one of the many machines that was used to maintain it. The soldiers required massive vehicles that were capable of handling heavy loads to and from the base. It could have been food supplies, clothing, more fuel, and basically everything else. <laughs>